Hello, this is Current Star, and today I am messing around with cross modulation. That means taking this little thing and driving this instance or this instance or this instance of uh, no grid. Um, pretty much uh, as it goes, it's kind of impossible to, to just off the default um, do anything with cross modulation. If I put push push this and I want to modulate, say, this delay, you, you really can't. Uh, so the trick around this, and this only works for Polygrid, is you have to stack it in the FX channel here. Uh, and then when you press it, everything comes uh, comes available. Uh, same thing with the note grid. You you, cr you press it, and all of a sudden, everything in the note grid, uh, including, it should be including other note grid instances. Um, if not, there is a workaround for that. Um, let me uh, find something to modulate. So there we go. So if I want here, it's kind of hard to, oh, no, actually, you can? No. You can't. Okay, so hard to do it there. But yeah, like I said, you can get around it by using a knob or a button or macro. Or a value. A value would work. So we want to move this into here. And now this value could be modulated. Uh, so basically what we need to do is we need to create a macro or knob on this level. And then use this to modulate this or anything else in there, and then use this to modulate the macro. So now when it goes in, of course I'm using the the um, the uh, keyboard or the, the MIDI notes for modulation, so there's not that much modulation happening here, but you can actually see the knob going up by itself when I'm pressing on the keys. So, kind of interesting. And then going in here, same thing happens. So the value is getting modulated, which can modulate everything else in here, or this, this knob can, can modulate anything else in here. And so when it gets modulated, everything else gets modulated. So that's a, a clear way of, of communicating between instances. But say you don't want your note grid inside your instance, and it breaks all modulation. Um, so the next thing you would do is you would do a control, uh, continuous control out or CC out. Uh, this is a little cheat device that realistically, um, mostly everything can actually help modulate. So in here, um, instead of, instead of going to a modulator out, we take it to the CC out, uh, and then it's going to have CC one and then what channel. So you can have different CCs on different channels. So if you don't want your CC messages on the same channel as your like synths and keyboards and stuff like that, you can move it to a different channel. Uh, and, and then you can have, uh, let's see, how many CCs do we have max? 127 uh, CC messages. Uh, or if that's not enough for you, you can have across 16 channels. Um, but anyway, CC 83 could then go for And I think this is under MIDI. So MIDI listens to CC, as as you can actually see here. And then all we do is we move it up to the channel. What are we on, 83? And that listens to CC83. And then now this can actually modulate anything in here. So now when we do it, hey, it's still working. You can barely see it, but the uh, the blue is going up. So let me let me super do this, and now you could you should be able to see it. Uh, so now this communicate this instance of of uh, grid is actually communicating with this inf instance of grid uh, and modulating everything over here. Uh, there's also the polarity um, uh, the, on the polarity channel. He uh, he comes up with the, uh, the I think it's the DC offset that he uses for communication between. Uh, the two, and that's using sound uh, for communications or something in there. Um, let's see, DC. 
the DC offset. And basically what he does is he drives this thing going up and down, and then he keys off of that um, to create a cross-communication platform. Uh, the great thing about CC is that it's uh, not only uh, useful for uh, inner bitwig communication, but let's say that I'm driving like VCV rack uh, inside. And give me a second to load this up. There it goes. Um, this also can listen to CC messages so that you can drive the, the CC into this thing. So what you want to do is you want to load um, one of the CC uh, to either MIDI or host uh, host CC or, or CC, I think it's the host CC one. Um, and then it, you should be able to go onto this, and then it, you should be able to listen to which channel. So you say, hey, channel one I'm listening to. Um, and then you drive this to whatever you want, and then um, it should... It should uh, If I remember right, it should drive the the CC messages from from this out, depending on the the uh, channel it's or this thing right here for the channel it's receiving. Okay, I'm wrong. Some, some playing around with it. Use the MIDI CC to CV. Um, I have this wave shaper set up, and I have uh, this modulation. Of course, Bitwig the 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 numbers are off for some reason when it comes to. Um, the the channel or the uh the cc messages so i have i have uh or something's up with the the vcv rack i have cell 5 output uh which should match um the uh um cc4 coming out so if i move this down to three nothing's changing but this one's changing so there's there's a number off on bitwig uh so realistically when i press up or i mean when i go up on the midi um the, the MIDI message is because I have this this link to the MIDI and so it's it's converting the MIDI key presses into CC. You can use anything else with this, uh, like sine wave or something else like that. But realistically, so if I go down on the MIDI messages, the CV value goes down. See, so it's zero up here. But if I go up on the the CV, so I'm pressing C4, C4, um, it's it's going. Here, let me let me go up up to this type of thing. It's kind of easier to see. Um, so if I, I go up on the keyboard, it's over here, but if I go down on the keyboard, as I go up, the, the, the voltage goes up, and so therefore it's sending uh, higher values, which on the MIDI key, it's, it's going from lower to higher, uh, sending it over CC, and therefore communicating uh, with uh, uh, VC, VCV rack here to, to actually send CV out to other objects, which in this case would... Uh, modulate these two um, things right here, which I can click and say, hey, I want to modulate this right here. So my my drive gets modulated depending on what I'm doing on my keyboard. Um, so that's a way of intercommunication. You should be able to go out with CC and you should be able to come in with CC and, and communicate uh, with external devices or external applications um, and communicate with Bitwig's rack to, to go in. Um, and so the same thing would be reverse, where you have the VCV rack out to CC, and then the no grid pick, would pick it up, uh, and and be able to communicate with it. Um, so that's cool. If somebody wants to see that happen because they're not getting to work, let me know, and and uh, I'll make another video specifically for that one for you, and 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 then and post it. But otherwise, um, pretty cool things. Uh, you can use both the the uh, polygrid on the FX chains to or FX um, track or chain or whatever you want to call it to communicate with other instances. But if you don't want to do that, uh, the continuous control or the CCs is a great way of communicating between your instances of everything that's going on in Bitwig so that you can synchronize uh, your modulation possibilities uh, throughout and be able to control everything, including other uh, VST instruments uh, like VCV rack or maybe even um, reactor uh, from native instruments uh, to be able to synchronize um, everything all up to like say like a central um, sort of modulator here um, and be able to, to go all the way down the thing or create your own modulator possibilities with any of the grids uh, the uh, the note grid or the poly grid here uh, and be able to move all of that throughout the, the, the rest of the track. 
Um, so it, that's pretty cool um, to allow you to have some really wild uh, possibilities on communicating between all of your instances. Uh, so anyways, hope you liked the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later.